Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about your gross labors in detail because in my last video I talked about what comes in the end run exam and how to crack in what's important and what's not. After that I've been having so many comments, you know, what comes in as labors, what we have to study. So today we're going to talk in detail what everything happens. So yeah, let's get started. So if you're gonna do the overlay of the whole syllabus, there's gonna be five sections and you know that's like physics, maths, general reasoning, general awareness and English. They're all gonna have this equal amount of weightage, it's not like physics has more or English have more. There's gonna be 100 questions and no negative marking of course. Now let's get into detail. So starting off the most hectic and hectic subject, that's physics and probably the lengthiest of all the five. Now I'll put the syllabus on the screen. It's so much for physics. I mean, I think there are like 20 chapters of it and I won't go into detail what's important. I mean, what you have to do in that because it's basically chapters of 11th and 12th. You have to do it thoroughly, all of it. If you ask me, okay, okay, uh, does the 11th or the 12th, you know, comes more, it's nothing like that. It's really equal if you have your concepts clear about it you don't have to you know practice every single question of that chapter or every type you just have your concept clear now comes up the second important that is maths I'll put the syllabus here again I can't go into detail about okay what does this chapter mean what does differentiation mean what does calculus mean you already know that so you're gonna do that on your own but I'll say start off with calculus then differentiation then curves and graphs and algebra you know you already know which are important 12th me jada maths kiske hote the do that in that order okay now comes the english it's more compact and easy and clear i'll put it here first you see there is like spelling check and the spelling check of course is gonna be which is the right spelling you have to check it now reading compre comprehension you already know vocabulary what comes in vocabulary vocabulary includes they'll give you a whole define of a word now you have to tell which word is it let me tell you sometimes it's like they write a sentence and they're like what does this bolded thing mean for example you know his he was in the jail because of his uh, horrifying wicked things now horrifying wicked is bold these are the options so you know b part atrocious mean horrifically wicked passages again easy synonyms autonyms in my exam there were four it's important you have to really do it and of course there is no way of knowing which one can come so you just have to download a pdf form from online a uh, synonymism and antonyms synonyms and antonyms and just look at it all day now comes the para submission you already know it para jumble it's it's harder than you know uh, jumble sentences because sentences there is like a compact sentences a paragraph you have to really put your mind to it okay which happens first it's not always very easy to tell para jumble do practice that then choosing the appropriate word yeah that's one of you filling the blanks and you have to choose which appropriate words fits in there now comes para completion and sentence completion it wasn't present in my exam but don't leave it because it might come in yours and basically you have to do is that you know they'll give you a bunch of paragraphs you have to tell which grammatically completes the paragraph and sentence again then come grammar and identification of error again you have done till the finding errors there's going to be error in that you have to find out which one now let's talk about reasoning syllabus because i think that's the subject you know that we didn't learn in 2l so we have no idea how and what to do in it so that we need to be explained let's i'll put the syllabus first off here that's all you need to do let's talk about one by one first off direction and distance instead so you'll know that it's pretty easy it's then come assertion and reasoning it's again which one is the reasoning which one is the assertion that's again easy look you know look for a video for all of them first of all and third is like statement and the course of action what happens is this like you know there's gonna be a statement first off and there's gonna be two course of action you're gonna have to say okay which one follows more maybe both follows for example if I have to say, you know, right now in India, uh, India is badly hit by COVID. That's the statement. Now, first course of action would be, you know, that government should provide more beds and look into the, you know, medical needs that should be provided for COVID. Second would be all the people should stay in the house. The, and now you'll see which one follows. One follows or the second one, follows. both of them follows. So you have to write that both one and two follows that's how it's gonna be either one can follow two what if you know for in the second that would be you know, people should go out and protest about covid of course we should not do that so only one follows you have to do that 
Now, an identical reasoning is like, you know, they'll give you three, four patterns. You have to tell which the fifth pattern is. That's easy. You've done it a lot of times. Again, it's cause and effect. Uh, it's like statement and course of action. They'll give you two sentences. You have to tell which is the cause and which is the effect. You know, you have to tell which caused the thing and what is the effect of that cause. So now it's syllogism. I can't really tell you what is it because syllogism is like, you know, all bats are cats, all cats are pencils. I don't, it doesn't make any sense. What is the easiest and the, you know, funniest one? So go watch a video in it. You'll like understand it so quick. Then analogies again, it's so easy like analogies. But analogies is like, you know, a bed is to sleep, then chair is to sit that's easy now come input and output arrangement now you know go watch a video on it it's a good one it's a tricky one so definitely watch a video on it now blood relations and all one outs it's easy for better numbers important it's very important to be honest you have to learn all the numbers of the uh, alphabets so yeah that concludes about everything other than general awareness of course to keep up with that you have to watch youtube or uh, read newspaper and google some things and Thank you so much for watching and being here. It means a lot to me. Like recently we passed 100 subscribers and I can't tell how happy and big of a goal that is. And really, if you like the video, like it. I love you all commenting and just liking it. And if you haven't, just please subscribe. It means a lot. It would help out a small YouTuber <laughs> like me. So I hope everything was clear. And still, if you have any, any doubt, you can comment down and ask. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Yeah, after all the time before I start, there have to be the Kachre Wali Gadi. So apparently, it's not stopping. It's just becoming louder and louder. Can you hear someone using their bullet for the wrong use?